Lucifer felt a presence in the water. The sea around his boat began to glow and the mermaid appeared. The fisherman who got cursed by a beautiful mermaid. In a small village by the sea lived a fisherman named Nosa. He was strong and hardworking, spending his days at the sea, cutting fish for his family and the village. Nosa loved the ocean, the sound of the waves, and the sight of the endless water brought him peace. One evening, as the sun set and the sky turned orange, Nusa threw his net into the water one last time before going home. As he pulled the net in, he felt something very heavy. He pulled with all his strength and was surprised to see a mermaid caught in the net. She was beautiful, with skin that shimmered like his moon and hair like golden thread. Please, let me go, the mermaid said. Her voice was soft and sweet. If you release me, I will grant you a wish. Nosa, enchanted by her beauty and kind words, agreed. He caught the net and let the mermaid go. She swam closer to him and touched his face gently. You have a kind heart, Nosa, she said. For your kindness, I grant you a wish. But remember, the sea can be tricky and its gifts come with a price. Nusna thought for a moment and wished for wealth to help his family and his village. The mermaid nodded and swam away disappearing into the depths of the ocean. That night, Nusa dreamed of treasures washing up the shore. When he woke up, he found his net full of gold, pearls, and precious stones. He was overjoyed and shared his newfound wealth with his family and village, making sure that everyone had enough to eat and a good place to live. The village thrived thanks to Nostar's generosity. However, Nostar soon noticed a strange thing happening to him. His upbeat hair began to grow uncontrollably. Each day, it grew longer and thicker. No matter how much he tried to cut or shave it. At first, Nusa ignored it. But the hair kept growing. It became a big problem. He asked the village elders and healers for help. But no one could Stop the hair from growing. One evening, Mamuwa, the oldest and wisest person in the village, came to see Nosa. She had heard about his problems and wanted to help. Nosa, she said, there are stories about people who make deals with sea creatures. The sea's gifts often come with hidden curses. 
no son listened carefully. As Mamua told him tales of fishermen and sailors who had met mermaids and other sea spirits, he realized that his wish had brought a curse along with it. His ever growing ampitent. Determined to fit his problem, Nosa decided to find the mermaid who had granted his wish. He believed she could help him lift the curse. Nosa prepared for his journey to find the mermaid. He knew it would be hard, but he was determined to do so. He gathered his supplies, said goodbyes to his family and friends, and set sail into the open sea. A few days later, Rosa sailed through rough waters and calm sea, guided by the stars and his determination. Each night, he sang the song that had brought the mermaid to him, hoping she would hear him. One night, under a bright moon, Nosa felt a presence in the water. The sea around his boat began to glow and the mermaid appeared. Why have you returned, Nosa? Are you not happy with your wish? She asked. Nosa bowed his head and told her about his problems. The wealth you gave me brought joy to my village, but I am cursed with this evergreen hair. Please help me leave this curse. The mermaid looks sad. I warned you, Nosa, that the sea's gifts come with consequences. The curse cannot be lifted by me alone. You must seek the sea queen. Only she has the power to remove the curse. But the journey to her is dangerous. Nosa was determined. He asked the mermaid how to find the sea queen. She gave him a glowing pearl and said, This pearl will guide you to the sea queen's realm. But be ready. You will face many challenges. With the glowing pearls in hand, Nosta sailed towards the deep ocean. The sea was no longer a friend, but a vast and unknown place. The first challenge came in the form of a terrible storm. The wind howled and the waves crashed against the boat. Nosta fought to keep his boats from sinking, holding on to the pearls for guidance. After hours of battling the storm, the sea became calm. Nosa was tired but safe. He knew more challenges awaited him. The pearl glowed brighter, leading him into a thick fog. Inside the fog, everything was silent and strange. Nosa felt like he was being watched by unseen eyes. He felt lonely and scared, but he held on to the pearls and sang his song to break the silence. Slowly, the fog lifted 
and Musa found himself in a beautiful lagoon filled with glowing creatures. Here, Nosa faced the third challenge. The lagoon was peaceful and filled with lovely sea nymphs who sang and danced, inviting him to rest and enjoy their company. Nosa felt tempted to stay, but he remembered his mission. He held on to the pails and resisted the nymph's temptation. The nymphs disappeared, and the way to the sea queen's realm became clear. Nosa sailed into a grand underwater palace. Its walls sparkled with coral and precious gems. The sea queen sat on a throne made of shells and pearls. She was beautiful and majestic, with hair flowing like seaweed. Welcome, Nosa, she said. You have passed the ocean's trials. What brings you to my realm? Nosa bowed and told her about his journey and the curse of his ever-growing and pitay. The sea queen listened carefully. The curse is not just a punishment, she said. It is a lesson. The sea is powerful and must be respected. Your wish disrupted the natural balance. To leave the curse, you must restore what was lost. Nusa was confused. What can I do? How can I restore the balance? The sea queen gave him a small box, beautifully carved. Inside this box is a piece of the ocean's heart. You must return it to the place where you made your wish. Only then will the curse be lifted. With the box in hand, Nosa sailed back to his village. The journey home was long and difficult, but Nosa was determined to leave the curse. The sea tested him with storms and strong currents but he held on to the pelt and the box. Finally, Nosa reached the spot where he had first met the mermaid. He opened the box and released the piece of the ocean's heart into the water. As it sank, the sea glowed brightly and Nosa felt a great weight lift from his body. The curse was broken. His pampit hair stopped growing. Nosa returned to this village where he was welcomed with joy and relief. Nosa was so happy, he continued to fish and provide for his family and village. But he was now wiser. He respected the ocean's power and mystery, understanding that its gifts should not be taken lightly. The village prospered and Nosa's story was told for generations as a lesson about the balance between man and nature. Do you know that Namibia, a country in southwestern coast of Africa, has some of the best fishing spots in the world thanks to the Benguela current? There are many kinds of fish in Namibia, like tigerfish, T 
tilapia, catfish, and yellow fish. The most important fish for Namibia's fishing industry is hake. In 2022, Namibia sold fish and fish products worth $760 million. Thanks for watching Love from the Classic Stories.